how much roughly is it to make one of these snow globes? Oh. How much it costs of money? Yeah. Oh, the cost to make the snow globe is about 5,000 pounds. Yeah. Wow, right. Um, okay, um, what materials do you use to make one of the snow globes? inside of it because it's Christmas time in Wales. Right. And where's this going to go? This is going to go in, the, in front of the Millennium Centre in Cardiff. Right. Is it going to have any moving parts or anything to it? Um, we were thinking about the humour side of it. We could have rain falling inside of it and maybe the track and be wearing a raincoat. So right. We could have like snowdrops falling. Okay. So why rain and, or snow? What's the... Um, because it, um, when people typically think of Wales, they think like, oh, it's always raining. So you're thinking of like the weather aspects. Right. And then like in the snow globe, there's typically like the snow in there. So we are thinking maybe we go with like the classic okay. idea. And I think the idea of a, a dragon in a raincoat is quite a humorous one, isn't it? So that make, make people smile, which is quite a nice idea, isn't it? in your uh, planning booklet there's the thing if you want extra things to be there so you can put your model there but do you want to make the area look nice so do you want to put extra trees there do you want lights there do you want benches where people can come and sit do you want to have water features that kind of thing you might just say no because actually it's going to be on some rocks and there's no way I don't want it to, to change the environment and that's absolutely fine too but it's, it's, you just have to toss that in if you're going to this afternoon, we're going to do some presentations so we can just find out about your really, really cool ideas because they're absolutely brilliant. I am super chuffed with them already. So you're going to work in it as a team to do a presentation. So basically, tell us what your idea is and uh, why you've done it and and what it's all about. Off you go. This is our design um, two Welsh kids on a plate, which we're going to be putting in the shopping centre in Cardiff. Some of the places we were going to put it is the Wales Millennium Centre, the Principality Stadium, Pe Pierhead, National Museum of Cardiff, City Hall, or the St David's Shopping Centre, which is where we are. So why did you think, what made you think of Welsh cakes then? Well, we, we had to think of something to do with Welsh culture, and we just automatically thought of Welsh cakes. And the plate idea came from really randomly saying, should we make a flag out of plates? And I noticed that one of the Welsh cakes has got a bite out of it, so has somebody been sort of helping themselves then, is it? Or that might have been me. That might have been you, is it? But it's certainly a sort of nice idea, isn't it, that you can help yourself to a plate of Welsh cakes. So, how big? Have you thought about how the scale of this? Yeah. So, how big is it going to be in reality? Five meters wide. Yeah. So, how uh, sort of in relation to the table you've got there behind you? How many times bigger than that? Have you measured that table? Three times bigger? Three or four. Well, well, it would be a good idea, wouldn't it, if you actually measured that table and then you could visualise what five metres... that's how big they might actually be. Right. Well, you could visualise then how big you want it. You want to make, a, make it sort of... You want to actually make a splash, don't you? And it's got to be visible. You don't want people to walk by it. So. Yeah, I think this will be the size of our Welsh cake. That's good. Right. Okay, so you're using the table as a size to actually think about Welsh cake. Yeah. And how many Welsh cakes are going to go on the plate then? About 
Two, three, two, three. Okay, alright, good. So what materials are you going to use? Have we thought that through yet? It's got plastic. Let me get my I'll write them down here. We're going to plastic, brown spray paint, snow spray, firework spotlight, uh, an eight foot by five foot flag, times two, it's up to them. Where does the flag go? Is, is it... We're just having them the, uh, like, okay. for display. A custom neon sign, which is going to say Kreuzer. Uh, and how are you getting on with the costing of that? Oh, uh, £5,659.58. Oh, you've done your costings, have you? Yeah. Excellent, so well far. done. Right, so far. Yeah, we're doing one. Yeah, we're doing one then. We're just doing one. Yeah, no, I mean, like, just the model. Just the model. Just making one. Yeah, not the actual thing. Our team's idea is to basically have, like, half rugby player, half dragon, and, like, his face, is, their face is coming out of the rocks, and there's going to be three of them, so it's kind of like something that you can go and find as you're walking along the beach, and it's kind of, like, meant to represent the Welsh culture and rugby fans they can go and see it and you can and it's made out of acrylic so it's waterproof and you can like go and sit on it and have a selfie so it's kind of made, made to go in this era to have a selfie and it's not something that you can't touch yeah so it's made for all people of all ages in the public and like on the field. On the field, yeah, okay, all right. So, how big is this? Each one, each one, we've got two of them. Right, okay, so let's say we're just going to work at, try and work out what the volume is of your creation so we can get you a rough price, okay? So, we've got 6.5, meters. How wide and deep is it? Um, wide. Mm. I think it should be, um, like, um, it has to have twin stairs inside it, and then it goes to the arm. I think it should be 12 inches. But then it's really proportioned. Well, if you think about like 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 a spiral staircase, a spiral staircase would probably be sitting in an area about the size of the stage. It's going to go up like that. Our, where our snow globe's going to be in Cardiff, it's going to be by the Millennium Centre next to Cardiff Bay, and we are trying to make it so that the scale is more accurate, and we come up against a problem where our model of our snow globe is um, bigger than the actual Millennium Centre. So right now, um, Jen is making a bigger model so that the scale is more accurate. This is our model of our snow globe and inside of it it has a computer that has the weather forecasted on it. It has a Wi-Fi link to the Met Office and inside of it there's a sensor like, uh, and it's live on the weather and then there's a pump inside of it with a motor and it pumps water up so if it's raining then inside the, the dragon will have like a light drizzle and like if it's sunny then uh, the sensor will like say for it to stop and it'll be sunny again. Um, so the weather inside the globe will reflect the weather outside then? Yeah. The weather in West. So it's like an interactive weather for. We also thought about having a live webcam a cam on our globe so that you don't have to be there to see it. You can just go online or on your TV and you can stream it. Okay, so your team's idea is what, ready? Um, we thought of an idea of um, creating a, a sculpture of a dragon shooting water into daffodils as a flag of Welsh and a dragon which represents the crown of that, our country and the daffodils represent the nature and usually when people say it always rains in Wales we've got the dragon shooting up which rain goes into the daffodil Okay, great! So what sort of size is this going to be then? Pardon? 
What size? Of oh, the dragon. The whole thing. The whole. Three. Oh, um, yeah, right. It's gonna be hundred Yeah, we've, oh, we've got all our work is out right here. Actually. Um, oh no, it's all one big. It's gonna be. Um, I think it's like five meters for the dragon by three. So he's gonna be quite a big sculpture. Right. So, and what are you working on now? We're working on doing the graph here to show our um, the local graph and map of our area and what we're going to do is the area for the 200 people who come to visit. Right, so you're planning that. And I can see there's some making going on, so what, are you, what has been made at the moment? Erin, what are you making? Um, we've been making daffodils. We're starting to do the benches because we're going to have benches around. Right. And they're starting to sculpt the dragon. Okay. Can I have a look at the daffodils in Erin? Let's have a little look at those daffodils. <laughs> need to come with the... Oh, they look nice, they're That's good. Actual. And I think, Tasha, you won the dragon, you? Let's have a look at the dragon. There you go, turn him sideways. That's a very good representation of the Welsh dragon. Good. Have you started costing this out yet? Um, we have actually done all the um, work in You've done all your work in town. Excellent. Well done. Where is it? It is here. Um, we worked out the volume, the framework, with the daffodils and the um, dragon. We're a bit on, like, we're quite a bit on the budget. So we're, we're That's fine. good. That's good. So, what, so how much at the moment? And um, we're we've only spent three thousand six hundred. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Good. All right. Well done. such as a hand that visitors will be able to sit on. We will believe, we believe that this is our USP because there has been nothing like this before. It will allow people to have an interaction and to get involved with our model. Our design also features windows as his eyes. This will, be, this will allow the visitors to go inside Mr. Earth and view the event from up high, up high but yet in the same surrounding as it will be inside. I'm Layla and I'm the project manager today. Yeah, I'm Anya and I'm Yannick because I was the design engineer. I'm Oliver and I was the STEM materials researcher and the finance manager. I'm Owen and I was the graphic designer. I made our Welsh face with a um, foam board, double sided sticky tape, black um, rope string, and a marker. Design. So we marked in our wild design um, 
on social media such as like Facebook and obviously the Mr Ill's website. Welcome to our presentation on our wild creation. I'm the project manager and our project was to create a wild creation and put it in the school for years or a public place. Um, uh, in total, our design cost £7,540. We, we decided to make it out of stainless, the dragon and the dapper are stainless steel, so it was um, a stronger material and it lasts longer. So that came up to a total of um, £6,300. Um, we needed to have some artificial grass and that cost £300. We put uh, four benches down which cost £320 and fencing along the design um, £140 and um, four lights, one on each corner of the design which um, is £420. So, and we also had a 